Everything about this is so wrong. And I didn't even see it coming. That's what bothers me. Yeah, that's what really bothers me. Maybe it's somebody I know. Carla, sit back in your chair. How long are you gonna keep it cooped up in here? You know the protocol, Carla. Carlos, get back in your chair. God damn it, Carlos, get back in your chair. You're never going to change. Is he supposed to stay on the plane? Who are you worried about? Well, the marshal has the gun. So much to learn. Don't touch my nuts. Really? So would you stop? Does he even know you're here? No, he doesn't. Quit fucking walking, get back on the fucking plane. No. Jet fuel. What? Wait for it. Lock it down. Hey, you okay? Where's Carlos? He was up. He was over there. Cute. Hey, Carlos, do we really have to play this cat and mouse game? There's nowhere to go. Hey, Mike. Is that you? Who else? You know, it's bad enough you got me up in the middle of the night. Now you're just making it difficult. You know, I've been losing a little bit of sleep myself, trying to figure out what the fuck you're doing. Mike? Carlos. What are you doing here? I thought that was obvious. I'm taking you in. You think so, huh? Yep. For what? You know, you're being extradited on trafficking of women to sex slavery, man. I think you're being set up. What you're really saying is that you know I'm innocent. Oh, <laughs> I don't know about innocent, Carlos. I mean, you're head of what? The largest bank in Venezuela? And that bank, that bank's been tied into laundering of drug cartel for how many years? Those fucking morons in Homeland Security know that I've been cooperating with the investigation. So do you. And you know, I, I don't. You're gonna I let those make, assholes extradite me on false charges. Call. I'm out of here, man. I can't let you leave. Damn it, Mike. If you leave, you are dead. You hear me? You are dead. Listening. <laughs> Wait.
What the hell do you think just happened out there? Whoever tried to kill you, they are going to keep coming after you. I'll worry about that when the time no. comes. You want to know why I'm here? Yeah. I want to get in with the Syndicate. I can get them by customs. You let them know I can be bought. Well, that's what I'm worried about. They're going to play you. Let me worry about that. Just get me in the door. <laughs> How do I know I can trust you, Mike? You don't, Bendejo. Hey, Greg, we have a problem. I thought that was damn good acting. Would you shut the hell up? There's people around here. Hey, we uh, gotta get him out of here fast. Get him to a safe house. No, 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 forget the safe house. I know a place I can kill people I trust. Okay. We need to get an ambulance. No, a special ambulance. everything we need. We will. This will get us through custom and everywhere beyond. this evening. What can I help you with today? First of all, I would like to thank you, Mr. Kiefer, for your quick response this week concerning the water supply to our high-rise building. Uh, the city does what it can to help expedite construction projects like yours. Which brings us to the reason for my visit this evening. I have requested a variance in the code concerning the structural design of this building, and you have rejected signing it several times. If it doesn't meet the code, the law will not allow me to pass it. It was only recently that the code was changed. I mean, this building will be one of the largest in the city. These changes need to happen in order to be safe. I don't have a choice. Every week's delay is costing Mr. DeJesus in the seven figures. Your choice should... I can see you are a man of integrity. But perhaps there is an arrangement you and I can come to. Just between us, it is a simple business matter to establish an untraceable account in your name, which that I could. It's something I wouldn't be interested in. You could retire next year. 
anywhere in the world. We're done here. Consider my offer, Mr. Kiefer. We will see ourselves out. Hey, honey. No, no, no I'm, just, I'm, I'm running a little late. See what family he has. Mike, I've been a cop in this city for a long time, okay? A pretty damn good one. The captain teams me up with an ICE agent. Hey, I'm all in. We're playing dirty cops here, okay? We're trying to infiltrate a sex trafficking syndicate. And by you pulling crap like this, you're gonna blow our cover. I don't care what kind of relationship you say you have with her. You can't trust a woman. You know, isn't that just a bit of a broad statement to make, huh? All right, you can't trust anyone. And you're telling me something I don't know. A goddamn investigative reporter. For Christ's sakes, you had to pick a reporter to sleep with? You don't pick these things, they happen. Bullshit. Tell me, how do you know she isn't using you? Huh? How do you know what she'll tell the public? Give it a rest. I'm not going to worry about this. She does not know what we are doing. She just sees the surface, all right? Let's see what she's got for us. Good evening, Eileen. You, uh, didn't have to dress up just for me tonight. It's been a busy night. Well, you said you had some information for me? Why is it I don't feel I can trust you anymore, Mike? Huh. I don't know. You're going to have to help me out on that one. Help you? Word on the street is, you're on the take. I'm on the take? Trust is a very funny thing, Mike. I don't need you. Well, you have a good night, too. She knew about the payoff. What? How could she know that? I don't know. God damn her, she hasn't got a clue what she's getting into. Yeah, okay. I'll be right down. Julie's downstairs, I'm gonna go. Movie, right? Yep. All right, just be out front. Yeah, okay. Gonna be on time this time? Hey, I love you. Love you too. Yo, yo, babe, how you doing? Come on in, let me get you an H2O cocktail. I told you the one to see if I want to play poker. Look, uh, I don't care for these outsiders. They come into our town, they lure our kids a little Give bit of money, the then bang, they gone. Of those kids. Look, man, word is they, they left town, they pack their bags, and they gone. Just give it to me. Tell me where they are, and you're out of the picture. You think this thing is gonna help you? You being dead ain't gonna help anybody. Man, take you this. You know, thing. I really don't Yo, have time. Take this time thing, man. I'm not about this. You couldn't wait five damn minutes. Stop. Everybody. You think you can come out of home and bully us like this? Well, as a matter of fact, I do think I can. In fact, you better think twice. I've doing? already thought twice about it. Yeah. Fuck you. I am you having a bad day here. But I'm getting that location tonight, right, Terrence? Look, you asshole. I'm trying to help you. I got you unfinished back? business with these people. Now give uh, the, you the information. Uh, it's either going to be the location of your arm. Which one's it going to be, huh? 89th and Chester. It's your funeral. They're at the abandoned tracks. This is it. I like what you've done with the place. I mean, for the kids and all. <laughs> yeah, I give the maid the night off. Johnson, what do you want? I think you know why I'm here. I need to see Shashan. Oh, no, that ain't happening. You're not supposed to be here till tomorrow. Huh, are you guys thinking like maybe I'm dumb or something? I can't see that you're packing up to leave? Would you like us to show you the exit? Not a good night for surprises. Lieutenant. Don't even think about it, Johnson. You're gone. Slowly. This isn't necessary. 
Our agreement was payment tomorrow, and I would contact you. No, our agreement was I get payment when the girls are shipped out. I don't think you're being straight with us, Johnson. I've kept my side of the agreement. You've had no interference at all. We know your partner's outside. Piece of shit. Of course I have a partner and I'm Mike. Damn it, Mike. This is Officer Chad. We have a Code 20 in progress. I repeat, a Code 20 in progress with Officer Johnson. Request immediate backup. Now, if you don't let me contact him, he's going to call for backup. Neither one of us want that. We took care of that. Request immediate backup. Look. Okay. do with them now come on let's take out the trash Beso, the girl stop her <laughs> go 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 Yeah, went down perfectly. They had no idea the little Kiefer girl was going to be at the same place. Oh, they're pissed about that. Yeah, but is that going to be a problem for us? No, no. Forget about that. Their operation is of little consequence to us. Just be sure they hold a girl until they hear from us. Good. We have the girl. Nah, he will sign. And who are these lovely ladies? Annie May and Susan. Annie May, very lovely. Susan, I'll catch up with you later.
Come a little closer. Don't be nervous. You need to realize a few things. I've taken you from the gutter and given you a life. I can do many things for you. You're going to learn to like me. You're going to learn to love me. What? The judge wants to see you. <sighs> Don't go anywhere. Are you okay? No. Let's get out of here. It must be him. Let me show you out. I want you to know that we'll do everything we can to get your daughter back. Take care. We'll be in touch. Hi, Mike. It's been a while. Do me a favor and don't bother this guy right now. The people have a right to know the don't facts. Don't give me that worn out cliche. Get your story another time. Do I get a chance here? The same people that we've been looking we? into may have taken this man's... There is no we. This is way beyond you. Something you never seem to understand. Mike, don't let the bad feelings between us close your mind to this. That's all I'm asking. Reporters sure can't be bitches, can they? Her intentions are good, but boy, she sure can get in the way. Yeah, she's doing a good job. Mm. Listen, does she know you're a nice agent? No. Why are you here? Because I know you're having trouble getting into the syndicate. Mm. I've been making inquiries. I found out there's a ton of money being funneled out of my country to projects in this town. Are you going to tell me that somehow this is tied into the syndicate? They follow the money trail, that's what they say. And? Oh, I'm not so sure, but I think I'm on the right track. You know, sometimes when you can't wrap your mind around something, it's because it's bigger than you think. Yeah, Mike, you're a fucking genius. Thank you. could bring back public flogging, we'd have a lot less repeat offenders. What do you think? I love the look on a defendant's face when I sentence him to death. No. And you got that look. This better be important. What? Annie May and Susan took off. Well, you better find them. They've seen too much. So, do you want me to take care of them? No, no, no. Bring them back here. Maybe they just need a little discipline. Got it. Hi, Mike. Hey, Mike. Boy, I know that look. What'd you do this time? Show Agent Johnson to my office. Yes, Director. You know very well what the hell I'm doing here. For starters, one of our jets got blown up, and that gets people's attention, especially when it involves Carlos Garcia. You're under a congressional investigation. You should take this very serious, Agent Johnson. May I ask, Director? Why Detective Chad is here. He's here to determine what the truth is. 
You know it took some doing to give you a new identity so you can team up with Officer Chad, so you can get in with the Syndicate. You failed. I can assure you, Director, that Agent Chad... Let's just what? cut to the chase. If it helps, I sincerely apologize for the whole Carlos incident. You think that's going to cut it? An apology? You son of a bitch, you lied to me about his death. I look like a fool in front of everyone in Homeland Security. Director, we were just trying I'm done to... with your input. I respect your position as director, but I only had moments to make that decision. And, and once I started, it was very hard to change the course. Well, I have news for you. Keeping me out of the loop was a very bad decision. And bad decisions like that is why you never got promoted, and I was. Carlos's help is needed to put an end to the syndicate. It's nothing but a living hell for those girls. You think I'm going to stand by for a legal system that would allow... One of those girls you tried to help was killed, Mike. Are you sure you're not blaming yourself for things that were totally out of your control? You lost your daughter and you pushed everyone away. And that included me. That was very unprofessional of me. No, no, no. Director, I apologize. Director, I should know better than to open old wounds. It will not happen again. Keep me informed. And maybe I just might save your ass from that Senate investigation. <laughs> okay, I think we're done here. You two can leave. Agent uh, Johnson, I can handle the politicians. Can you handle the syndicate? Hey, gorgeous. I think it's time for you to take a little break from work. When's your daughter going to be home?
Sounds like she's fighting. <laughs> <laughs> Full house, baby. Ivan's not coming back tonight. Close up shop. Yo, Benzo! We checked the building that she was being held in. There was no one there. I'm posting a unit out front for the night. You both get some rest. Good night. Good night. Just make the call. Just, just, just do that. You can do that, of course. Hi, it's Mike. Just a guess. You're calling about the girl? You already know? Yeah. Good news travels fast. A little good news here and there is nice. Don't you think? Yes, it is. Well, I, I just thought that, uh, you thought, uh, just thought you might want to know, Sheila, that's all. That's very considerate of you. Well, gotta run now. Be safe, Mike. As director of this division, I'm telling you that we are doing absolutely everything we can to find your daughter, Agent Heyman. You know that's true. But I know things that can assist the investigation. And you know that there is nothing I can do to change the protocol to allow you on this case. Do we understand each other? You made yourself perfectly clear, Director. Thank you for your time. Я думаю, что эта девушка нам подходит. 
Yeah, I think she looks pretty good. Is she not school? It's too high, I'm not paying that. It's either four or nothing. Three and a half. Just a minute. She's here. Да, скажи, что поносила кофту. Take a shirt off. It's too high, I'm not paying that. Four, you're gonna have to leave. Three and a half. As high as I can go. Four. Three and a half. Fine, I'll take this one for two. It's a deal. Go ahead and go back there. Go pick it up. It was Galtz and Toshin. Brought it to. Where's the girl that had this jacket? Lady, she could be a thousand miles away by now. I knew there was something about you I couldn't trust. Relationship has to be nurtured, and when something is useless, you cut it out. You should have never gotten involved. You grabbed the wrong kid in front of the father, and then she killed. Baby. Does he realize we can hear him? Then you watch the little bitch the less get away. he thinks we know, the better. And now some news lady's got her all over the goddamn TV. Just sooner trust. or later, somebody's going to identify you two. And then that is going to lead back to me, and I'm not going to let that happen. Eugene. That envelope contains a number which you will call this evening. And you explain to them that you wish to have all your problems eradicated. Understood? Yes, sir, I understand what you want. Eugene will see you out. I think I'll put my suit on. Is that you?
He's really not going to like that. Yeah. He's busy. You'll have to wait. Anthony, Anthony. Hey, 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 come on, you guys. Hey, he said I had to wait. You know I don't want to wait. Mike, what are you doing? The fuck is wrong with you, Mike? What's the matter with you? Why don't you just knock on the door? Hey, a guy named Sashan. Last night tried to take out Kiefer and his daughter. Yeah. Do you know anything about that? Yeah, I know all about that. Kiefer was uh, trained in special ops, you know. It's would make it very difficult to take him out. That's most likely why they hired somebody like Sashan. He's been working in my country. All right, well, you're going to have to help me read in between the lines on that one. Well, before we get to that, how's Kiefer's daughter? She's okay. Got released from the hospital. Kiefer's taking her to some lake house where he says she'll be safe. Yeah. Alicia, you got that photo? Yes, I do. You recognize her? Yeah, FBI agent Carol Green. Bingo. Did you know that her and Kiefer are working together to protect the daughter? No, no, I did not know that. Is this a vigilante group now? Well, now we can get back to the between the lines conversation. I don't think it's a coincidence that they used the Sean to go after Kiefer. If somebody wanted to take me out of the equation, it probably goes to the same guy. Is there a tie in there? Well, that's where you come in, Mike. Because this is your city, right? Well, let's try and remember that we're both kind of on the same side here, huh? <laughs> <laughs> There's all kinds of organizations south of the border. They're starting to come over here to this country. They happen to think that brute force is the best way to make profit. Not me. And your point is? My point is that I don't personally want to have anything to do with any human trafficking, all right? I think it's an abomination. And that's probably where you and I are on the same side. Okay? You, you know I'm doing what I can on my end. You know that. Okay. Do you have those numbers? These two ladies, that's their numbers. Use them well. They knew about the hit. They knew where it was and who was doing it and when it was. And I'd All like right. to know how it is that they know that. All right. 
so you can use your uh, stringent, ethical, lawful means of getting the information that I need, right? I'm going to do what I need to do to get that information. Yeah. Well, I don't want the human trafficking charges on me. And that other trumped up shit about the money laundering, you get rid of that too. That'll happen, Carlos, when the man on the top rung goes down. Time he does that shooting. Right this way. Huh? Oh, sorry. We have to take care of the money first. Not a problem. Hmm. Looks like you're expecting our true GFE. GFE. Girlfriend experience? Didn't you see our ad? No. But if I'm satisfied, I'll be back next week. Oh, you'll be satisfied. But honey, we won't be here. We're traveling to a warmer climate. Really? Where's that? Just south of the border. We'll send you a postcard. Ma'am? Sure. And if I'm heading down south, need to get a hold of you? Who do I talk to? You know, you ask a lot of questions. Are you a cop? No, I'm not a cop. Do you work for any law enforcement agency? You really should have asked that first. Don't say anything else. You don't have anything on us. It's your word against ours. Oh, I don't know. Sorry. We gotta take care of the money first. You know, if I wanted to bust you two, I would have done it when the money changed hands. So what do you want? I need some information. But you waited for us to get undressed? Save me from having to frisk you. So what do you want to know? Very good. Ivan has discovered where they are hiding. Take a crew and bring them back. Key friend's daughter? Yes. Everyone else is expendable. I'll handle it tonight.
He's still out there. Get your sight, huh? How bad is it? Hey, we can help you. Give me a reason. Who sent you after my daughter? Collateral damage. Collateral damage. He's collateral damage. Ray. Who's collateral damage? Ray. Hey, look at me. Look at me. Who? Stay with me. Hey! Hey! Who sent you? Give me a name! Give me a name! Who sent you? Who sent you? We don't know their whereabouts, but the police department has their usual alert out. And if I might say to the police department, it's just another couple of missing street girls. It's getting too coincidental. Tell the chief of police to give it a higher priority. Okay. I need a few minutes alone. I'll make the phone call. Yes, Director. Do you know two girls were taken from the reporter alley in Conway? I was briefed this morning. How well do you know that reporter, Mike? To answer your question, I know her well enough to know she does not trust me. Okay on that. I'm going by my gut feeling that there's a connection between our investigation and this missing girls. Can I say something off the record? Yes, of course. Do whatever you need to do, Mike, to bring these girls home. Make it happen. same after that. So you want me to make it happen? I can do that. Carlos, it's Mike. I need a favor. 
Read them and weep, suckers. Man, look, four times in a row, that's bullshit, man. I told Jeez. you I wasn't bluffing. Good job, Fuzzy. This is a private party. Who the hell are you? I'm just a guy looking for some action. Thought maybe you'd deal me in. Well, where the hell is Jimmy? How did you get past Jimmy? Jimmy fell down the stairs. He hurt himself. Actually, I came to speak to you. We don't invite <laughs> As I was saying, I came here to speak to you, Rufus. What? Ask you about those two girls you kidnapped. How'd it go? Well, he got very talkative once I put him in the right frame of mind. Does he have the two girls? No. I found out who set up the kidnapping, though. It was a judge. Judge Overton. Jesus, Johnson's gonna love that. That is, if I can even get him that info. He's a hard guy to track down these days. You gotta let Mike do what Mike does, because he gets results, you know? He's gonna get himself killed, is what he's gonna get. I hope not. Does that reporter know who I am? I just told her you're an undercover cop trying to help Mike. Does she know that he's on her side? She doesn't trust him. It's good to know what side the players are on. When you don't know who to trust, people get hurt. See what they can do to change that. Think he's gonna show? I hope so. I'm here. Are we having an issue with trust here? No, we're not. Thanks for coming, Mike. I need to know how protocol modeling agency is involved. You know, you, you know I won't discuss my work with you. you. You already know that. This isn't just about protecting a kid. It's much more than that. We know that protocol has ties to Judge Overton. You are playing a very dangerous game, Kiefer. You are one man against a well-organized syndicate. Now be smart. Stand down and let me do my job. We already tried that. Neither Steve Mancini nor the judge have the resources for the professionals that are trying to kill you, and you. Now, damn it, Eileen, just lay low. You know, I'm, I'm going to go back to the office. I'm going to pretend I never had this discussion. You have to tell us who's after us, Mike. You have to give us that. You know, I have told you all that I can. I, I have, really. I, I, I don't have all the answers. Okay. Appreciate it, Mike. Thanks. Oh, my God. Who stands with the Hastings? Ray, I found a cross-reference for a company called Pier 4 Shipping Lane. She had a shipping vessel docked earlier this week at West End Cove. Get this. The owner of the shipping company is Santos de Jesus. It says here he's pro Ray, my security protocol says somebody's tracing my location. Yeah. I know. Wait, what's going on? I know, I've got it with me. Okay, all right, we're out of here right now. We gotta go right now. Whatever you do, don't leave my side. Free! Jeez, lady, I'm just getting my car. Drop it. Ugh. Hello. You tell Keeper he's got one hour if he wants to see his little girl alive again. Building 8, down by the West End Cove. When he comes, he comes alone. The cops show up, the girl dies. He doesn't come alone, the girl dies. You got that? Remember, Green, one hour.
Are you looking for this file, Judge Overton? It concerns Steve Mancini. I'm sorry, have we met? No, we haven't. Sheila Heyman, Homeland Security. Homeland Security? Is interested in Steve Mancini? Yes, we are. But I can't disclose why, you understand? Well, I'm not looking for that folder. But if there's anything I can do to help, feel free to call. I will. Now, if you excuse me, I'll meet it back in chambers. Lieutenant Johnson, this is Debbie. I have some information for you. But after this, we never met, right? That's right, if your information helps me. Well, there's these two girls, and I think they're gonna kill them. They'd kill me if they knew I was talking to you. Anyway, they took them to this abandoned building on the corner of Belmart and Arcadia. Alright girls, we're gonna get you out of here quick. Alright, so John Dunn, you leave. You're Mike Johnson, aren't you? Yes. We were expecting you. That can't be good. They, they tried to make us do things. But, but we wouldn't, they kept, they kept hitting us. Well, yeah. Officer. So you uh, want to speak to me about Eileen Conway? This particular reporter could help us get into the syndicate in certain places. Maybe even kick us out a lead or two. As we speak, there's a group of men gathering women to fly them out to other countries for a so-called better life. These people will talk a good game. But make no mistake, they are ruthless. Tell her to stay sharp. Ladies, here's your host, Mr. Nancy. And I must say, I want to welcome you here this evening and let you know that you're on your way to a much better life in a country that will give you respect. Face. I don't want your money. I don't want to shoot you. I just need a name. I don't know what you're talking about. You have a South American contact. You guys are involved in trafficking women. I want the name. I don't have a name. It's not the kind of cooperation I was wait, looking for. Wait, wait, wait. All right, wait. His name is Ivan. Nah, he's local. No, that's all I know. That's all I know. He's, he, it's Ivan. Give me the name or you're no good to me. I don't know anything else. Okay, then turn around, Judge. Turn around, turn around. Get down. Please, don't shoot me. Get down. <laughs> don't shoot me. One last chance. Say it! It's your last chance. <laughs> don't shoot me. Tell me! Don't shoot me. They're planning on killing Kiefer tonight. Please. That man you're looking for, I hear he's in town. He's going to be at the airport. That's all I know. I don't have any more information. <laughs> Overruled. Good evening, everyone. Good evening, Good evening. Sir. Holly, is the mayor's office on board? Yes, Director, you have our full cooperation. What about legal? We've crossed the T's and dotted the S's. 
because we don't want any exposure on this. There won't be any. Detective, you see your team in place. We've had surveillance on him all day. All you have to do is give the word. We have enough evidence to put that son of a bitch away for a very long time. What about the warrant? Judge Kaler signed off on it this morning. Okay, people. Let's go get him. Do it quick. Judge Overton, please. Let's show Judge that scumbag predator what the legal system can do to his kind. Judge Overton? What's this about? Could you step outside, please? Why? Please, step outside. Sir, we have a warrant for your arrest Eugene. for drug trafficking, kidnapping, and conspiracy to commit murder. Don't make this any more difficult. You have the right to remain silent. Your Honor. Anything you say can and will be used against you in a court of law. I know my rights. I make the laws. Hear me? You answer me when I ask you a question. I don't have to put up with this. I guess this is my lucky day. Back in line, guys. Back in line. Back in line here. Back in line. I've always liked you, feisty. Just like old times, huh? Don't scream. Ray, we have a situation. Negative. Hold your fire. So much for the element of surprise. I had to take the shot.
kill the flame. Round up as many as you can. And leave. Is my plane ready? Almost. I think we have a few more minutes for them. Freeze! And up. Your weapon on the counter. Two fingers, slowly. Your weapon on the counter, now. I am unarmed. However, we have unfinished business. This could end well for both of us. Hello again, Kiefer. Remember me? Give me the gun. Give me the fucking gun! I have to say, Mr. Kiefer, that you play a mean game. The police and FBI are going to be here any minute. I will not be here when they arrive. Consigo las formas. I would like you to sign this. Be smart, and everything goes back to normal. This is a waiver that allows your construction job to continue. What guarantee do I have that you're going to let my daughter and I go? There are no guarantees. Except that if you do not sign it, you'll never see your daughter again. You see, it is a question of threat. I will always be a greater threat to you than you are to me. Mr. Kiefer, it's just business. I'll sign it. Mr. Ra, let me have a seat. I want to see my daughter. Nikolai will take you to your daughter. When I am safely away, he will let you both go. the right choice. Let's go. Slow. When I'm gone, I want you to kill them both and make it look like an accident. Put your hands where I can see them. Now. I presume you are FBI agent Green? Where's Ray? Did you think I would be here if your friend had found me? I'm starting with your kneecap. Very well. I heard a report and he was headed to the front desk. Then that's where we go. Move. Now. How you doing tonight? <laughs> Might want to take the stairs. How you doing down there? This is fucked up. Oh yeah. I hope you're not afraid of the dark. Keep moving.
drop your gun or I drop your little girl. You shoot her, you're dead. You know, Keeper, you're getting to be a real pain in my ass. Look, you've already signed the papers. You and your little girl can walk away from all this. Then give me my daughter. No, <laughs> I want to walk away from this too. Looks like we have a stalemate. Not so much. I can start with a couple of them and work my way back up to her. Now look, put the gun down and back the fuck away! Not gonna happen. I so much as twitch, and Daddy's little girl here goes home in a body bag. You want that? Okay. Okay. Good. Good. Smart move. I don't think you'll even twitch. <laughs> All right, let's get out of here. Come on. It was careless of you not to pat me down. Drop you! Mike! I'm alright. Just please go get him. Shh. I'm fine. I'm fine. Just please go get him. Just take it easy, alright? Hey, we got her. He's gonna get away. Not this time. My gun. Get them out of here. Freeze! No, I wouldn't do that. Put the gun down. Slow. Now kick it toward me. Sure, whatever you want. Down on your knees. Hands behind your head. Your turn. Lay the gun down. Okay. Slowly. Now you kick it. been a thorn in my side for too many years. Sorry. I can't say I know you. I am Santos de Jesus. 
It's not ringing a bell. But I'm guessing you're the head child molester. The drug government calls human trafficking. I call it business opportunity. My friend, you are so concerned with the details that you fail to see the big picture. It seems blowing up the airplane did not have the desired effect. And Mr. Garcia, he escaped unharmed. Your efforts were much more successful. And for that, I would like to thank you. So you're the one that framed Carlos. <laughs> Don't get too comfortable. My friend, your pathetic agency is so desperate for results that framing Mr. Garcia was almost too easy. And now with access to the largest bank in Venezuela, my services, they will expand. And you Rest in peace. <coughs> Knowing that you make it happen. <laughs> Cut his throat and leave him out back for the rats. Not interrupting anything, am I? Always have my suspicions about you, Santos. Mr. Garcia, what well, seems you're not an easy man to kill. <laughs> the same one? I, I have many talents. For instance, making money. But you know, I have several ventures that you might find very interesting and extremely profitable. So you're offering me a deal, is that it? We're both reasonable men with good reason to hate the U.S. government. Where I come from, we have a saying. The enemy of my enemy is my friend. It was your dirty money got the feds up my ass in the first place. Then he used my name, your stinking little sex trade. Then he tried to blow me up. You know what I think? Fuck you. We live in different worlds, and I'm not your friend. Here's what I do think. I'll make my own arrangements. Mike, Mike, listen to me. Listen to me. I don't want to lose you. 
I can't take another loss. Oh, gorgeous. Mike! Mike! Mike, hear me! Mike, hear me, don't quit on me. Mike! Mike! You've always been a stubborn son of a bitch. Listen to me! You... You just hang on, Mike. Please hang on, Mike. I... Hang on, Mike. Hear me, Mike. Hang on. It's good to hear, Mr. Secretary. Yes, I'll take care of this. I guess I know it all. You had a rough night. Raids made this morning in Venezuela. Hmm. The syndicate is no longer existing. Wow. Now that's good. That's very good news. What about the girls? There were hundreds in protective custody, and that number will grow. Hmm. But I have more good news. Mm -hmm. And that is? The secretary tells me you're up for a commendation for your oh. acts of heroism. Well. I'm thinking you're embellishing that just a little bit, maybe? Not much. Well, I'm guessing getting wounded comes for some, huh? Which reminds me, in all the commotion at the airport, you walked out with someone else's gun. And that means? That means I know whose gun it was. Don't worry. It'll stay with me. Thank you. And what is this? This is your next assignment. Oh, come on. I'm supposed to accompany Carlos? I thought you two were great together. I think there'd be some dispute on that. And how long is this for? A month, maybe two. Two months? What am I going to do for two months down there? Did I tell you, coincidentally, I'm going to be working in the same area? Okay. Now that's an assignment I can handle. I love it. To what do I owe this visit? Well, some of my superiors are thinking that I should follow you and see how your books are coming along. No kidding. I wonder where they got that idea from. <laughs> well, yeah, you got me. You got me. Get on the plane, goddammit. <laughs> I'm not going to have a problem with that one. <laughs> so there you go again. Kick him from my heart. On your own again.